Hello, I am Jake Friday. This is Venture Ventures D and D Five E game. We're playing Baldur's Gate: Descent into Avernus. We're in Baldur's Gate still. One of these days we'll get to hell. One of these days. But anyways, before we get started, let me do a quick recap. The gang, the crew. That's another thing that needs to be decided at some point what your what your crew name is but anyways we won't do that now last time though on venture ventures uh we got out of the dungeon of the dead three which is fantastic um did some investigating trying to find out what happened to the city pretty close to Baldur's gate that rumors are it just disappeared and uh there are a bunch of refugees at the gates of Baldur's Gate, and nobody's being let out, nobody's being let in, and these players were recruited by the Flaming Fist to uh, take care of some things for the Flaming Fist that they can no longer take care of because they're having to keep the peace in the city and keep people in and keep people out. So they were told to get rid of the dead three, root them out, and that is when they found out by talking to Mortlock Van Thamper that the Van Thamper family, which is a noble family in Baldur's Gate, uh, Van Thamper family has been controlling the Dead Three for the purposes of undermining the Flaming Fist and taking over control, essentially, of the city. Uh, and after leaving the Dungeon of the Dead Three... They headed to Low Lantern, which is a boat-shaped bar. It's a boat that a bar was put in. And started investigating, talking to people. Found a greasy-looking fellow who was offering gambling uh, loans. And uh, also had a, a uh, spine devil hanging out with him, and uh, talked to him because they uh, thought he was, and turns out it was, Amric Van Thamper. So, further investigations into the Van Thampers, and things went a little south, to be honest. Uh, maybe Amric doesn't like cats because when our, our fantastic ranger, played by Roz, uh, started talking to Amric, they just didn't it just didn't get along. And that's where we're going to start today with some some rolling initiative. Let's do that. I already did it before the game. Nice. Well, that's here 25 to 20. 20 to 15. Nice. Really? Nothing, no one else in that range? 10 to 5? Oh, Dave, you're, you're roboting again. Uh, and echoing. 11 for Jarvis. 10 to 5. Oh, that's better, Jerry. Okay. Okay, the fellow in the black cloak with a real smug smirk on his face the whole time while he's talking to Rollercoast uh, goes first. And uh, he is going to multi attack Rollercoast. He runs up to you and. Whoo! Whoo! That's, that's real bad. S swings at you with two daggers or one dagger in each, each hand. First two 
miss. Does an 18 hit you? Okay. Eight piercing damage from the dagger. And uh, that will be his turn. Next is the devil, the spine devil. And the spine devil takes flight. It's small. It's like bigger, a small dog. Um, and it's got a uh, a long tail with impressive spines on it. As it's flying, it uh it is going to try to bite Rollercoast and I think miss 13 to hit on the bite okay and fork which fork I believe that's the tail the end of the tail it's forked and it's going to try to poke you I could be wrong on this I'm picturing it in my head and um, we'll go with that <laughs> just jab 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 uh, and a 12 to hit rolling real bad and a tail spine shoots from its tail as it's starting to disengage from you and uh that's gonna be a 22 to hit and four piercing damage plus you feel a burn and it's not a good burn it's not a healthy burn as you take four fire damage from the spine as well uh and this thing flies by and doesn't provoke opportunity attacks from its uh has an ability that doesn't that allows that so that is its turn rollercoast you're up amrick is within is in melee range with you what would you like to do do bonus action hunters mark him Okay, bonus action, Hunter's and then Mark. Give him my one attack with uh, one of my short swords along with my Dread Ambusher attack. Nice. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I'm assuming 11 doesn't hit? No, it doesn't. And when looking at him, he's just wearing leather armor. It's very basic, it's nice, it's very, very high quality just looking at it but um yeah just leather armor no shield so the second attack is a 17 that just hits okay. ac is a 17 because his charisma is added to his ac don't ask me how that works mechanically narratively but so that's a pretty hefty hit that's 16 damage nice yeah that is that's very solid. Rolled an eight on my D eight, so sweet. And then I am bleeding pretty per not f I'm I'm bleeding. I do not look healthy after that, but I'm gonna stand my ground because I don't want to get hit again. Okay. I'll be in my turn. Jerry. Um <clears throat> where is the spine devil? Can I can I try to run and and grab yeah. him? You yeah, want to grab? You want to grapple it? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. She's covered in spines. Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's vis like, it is. It, it's like a flying cactus. I mean, is I guess grappling is the same as just grabbing, right? Like yeah. I just want to grab him and keep him from flying. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. just letting you know. 
uh, about the spininess. Also, your mic is still like robot-y. Oh, really? Sorry about that. I can get my old mic um, in a second. Okay. Um, so I'm assuming this is just ooh, nat twenty. Yeah. yeah. You 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 got a hold of it. I am. Nice. Uh, yeah. It's not. This thing is unsurprisingly not uh, very strong and surprisingly not very dexterous. So, uh, you've got a hold of it. That was your action to do that. Yep. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Just like, ah, oh, yeah, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to go change mics. Excellent. Jarvis. All right, real quick. I'm looking at the lounge deck. Uh, we're at the table. I'm assuming the circular table, or are we at one of the rectangular tables? Let me pull up the map. You you guys are in the you're on the lounge deck and um you're on the northern portion the stern I believe is the back end of a boat and uh yeah okay cool real quick because this might affect you um before we went into this conversation I cast bless on me sorry uh, roller coaster I forgot to tell you before your turn but you hit them anyway uh you and Jarvis. So we have blessed your attacks and saving throws. Get a D4 added to them. For how long? Oh, nice. Uh, it's a minute, I believe. In concentration? Oh, it's only a minute. The conversation would have happened and would have been longer than a minute. You don't have that. Never mind. But you felt good during the conversation. But you felt good during the conversation. It just didn't go south fast enough. I also think it was. I also think it was Jerry because I felt sad and left out. Oh, then it Either way. <laughs> but Never it doesn't mind. Matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Gary wrote down in his notes he felt bad right before. I felt sad. <laughs> oh, that was a stupid I felt left, I felt use. left out. Oh, well. How's my uh, computer audio right there? Is that is that good enough? That's better than it was. <laughs> Feel bad or uh it's it's pretty good. Okay. You you're good. It's computer audio. <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah. Obviously it's not um anything to write home about uh jarvis what did you want to do i i just wanted to know where the table is so i'm going to step i want to make sure i'm at at distance from the table um where the van where amrick and because i assume the spine devil's also near the table right yeah and so so amrick and rollercoast are at the front uh and the spine devil is kind of to the side with jerry now and the cool. thug that was standing behind during the whole conversation is still standing there and getting ready to get involved. Was, looked very tired, as I mentioned last session. So it was acting kind of slowly in this initiative. What would you like to do? Cool. I just want to make sure I want to move so that I'm about 40 feet south of where kind of all the action is, but I can still see everyone kind of near the bar area, it looks like. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to cast a uh, firebolt at Amrit. Okay. And that's a natural 20. Nice. And, uh, sorry, I already forgot what I'm doing. Uh, 1d10? Yep. Ten, uh, 10. No added anything. Streaking fire bolt goes over your your shoulder, Rolikos, and light some of Amrick's very shiny, very moisturized hair on fire, giving him <laughs> a nice burn. Anything else, Jarvis? That is all. Okay. Kairos, your turn. Um, I'm going to say to my party, leave the big one to me, and then I'm going to look to him and say, Big one, the Doombringer's vengeance is upon you as I cast Compelled Duel Hell on yeah. him as a bonus action. Cool. So I need a wisdom saving throw from him. Nice. Let's do it. That's a three on the die, so basically Woo, no. He fails. 
Uh, so, on a failed save, the creature is drawn to you, compelled by your divine demand. For the duration, it has disadvantage on attack rolls against creatures other than you and must make a wisdom saving throw each time it attempts to move to a space that's more than 30 feet away from you. It ends if I attack anyone else, uh, if I cast a spell that attacks anything else, or if a creature friendly to you damages the target or casts a harmful spell on it. So he's pretty much baby Hence in a corner. the leave him to me. So he's not compelled to attack you, though. Uh, he's not compelled to attack me, but it well, he's drawn to me by divine. Okay, that's some, that's some DM fiat yeah, stuff right good. there. Um, but if he attacks anyone else, that he has disadvantage on attacking them. Okay, and then that's my bonus action, and then I'm gonna hit him. Excellent, do it with my big maul. Uh, Fifteen. Yes, that hits. Sweet. Good hit too. Nine, ten, twelve points of bludgeoning damage. Nice, smashing down on his armorless or leather armor. It's basically useless against a maul. <clears throat> you hear some some crunching. Probably a dislocated so shoulder. I don't think Sweet. they have good orthopedic surgeons in Baldur's Gate. He's going to feel it at least for a little while. Maybe I mean, the rest of his life. Hopefully. Well, it might be, might not be very long. That's true. Um, so hopefully, also, from his point My of eyes view. went from like bright orange to silver when I invoked Whore's name just as a thing that happened. All right, I'm done. Excellent. <laughs> cool. The thug is now going to respond to you, and he's going to attack you. Kairos, and he has Reasonable. advantage on attack rolls being oh, close to his allies. <laughs> Shit happens. <laughs> 17 to hit. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> Wouldn't if I had my shield up. Damn. And uh, 21 on the second one. So, altogether, two swings that connect eight points of bludgeoning damage. Cool. Coming back to you. Sweet. I hit him harder, so I'm pretty happy about it. That's true. <laughs> back to the top of the round. Amrick is going to attack you again, Rollercoast, looking around. Figures, yeah. Doesn't know who to choose, but um, it's going to go after you. That is a 21 and a 24 on the first oh, yeah. two. Oh, yeah. And the third misses. Because that's a 12. That doesn't yeah. hit, right? Correct. This is a little good. Yeah, yeah. 14 piercing damage. Oh, yeah. I'm unconscious. As Rolikos hits the ground, Amrik just sort of smiles, smirks at all of you. <laughs> just real scummy. Just real want to punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> um, the spine devil in your hands, Dave. It's going to attempt to attack you doesn't have to get free first no you just can't he it can't move it would have to get free to come after any of the rest of us correct so it's not going to attempt to break free i guess no i'm just checking um, yeah, it's not disadvantage on attacks, right? Obviously, ranged attacks. No, it's just melee is is normal. Not until it's restrained. Right, right, right. Okay, can't do that. No, it can do that. It's gonna try to bite you and fork you and spine you. <laughs> 
Oh, I figured it out. Pitchfork. It's a spine devil. It has a pitchfork. That's got to be it. I, I kind of like it having a fork on its tail more. So Fair we're going to say that. It's your it's, call. It's a, it's a new... It's <laughs> it's version 2.0 spine devil. Uh, straight out of Avernus. So... The bite misses as you're controlling it and it's flailing around on you, Jer. And then the fork, while it's doing that, comes around and tries to get you from in the back of the head with its tail. It's a 14. Does that hit? Yes. And that is four piercing damage. Are you raging yet? No. Okay. Uh, And then it's going to shoot some tail spines at you. That will hit. That's a 23. Three piercing damage and six fire damage. As its tail pokes you from behind and then as it's pulling uh, away, you feel another sharp, more sharp poke, I guess I could say, with some, uh, some burning. It feels like you just did some some work on your traps, and uh, you overdid it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not a good feeling. And then that's its turn. Rollercoast. Save, and I fail. Okay. Jerry. I'm going to try to drag the, uh, I mean... I don't really know what's going on. Like, if it's big enough for me to just carry it, but yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna carry it over to uh, Merrick, and I'm assuming I can't use my axe because I'm using one hand to. Hold I I, I assume you're using two hands. Um, well, yeah, I have to. Well, uh, yeah, I'm just saying I have to use at least one hand to do that. So, let's just say I'm using two hands, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna rage. And I'm going to just try to try to just take like whatever the spikiest part of it is and just put it into Merrick's face. Merrick is. Are you, do you mean Amrick? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, making a. I'm trying, I'm trying to get in between Amrick and Rollicos. Okay. Cool. Uh, thank you. Um. Make an attack roll with no proficiency. Um, yeah, let's just roll a d20 and tell me what you get. Okay, well, I get I get advantage, right? Because, well, never mind. It's an attack roll. It's an improvised weapon. You're using a spine devil. Unless you've trained with spine devils. <laughs> uh, no, I rolled a five, so... So you, you've got this thing, and it's using its wings to fly around. It's also got, it, like I said, it's a cat flying cactus from hell. And yeah. uh, you're, you're also trying to handle it carefully so you don't get some burny spines in you. It's a very complicated maneuver, but I applaud <laughs> the attempt. Uh, it's just well, like... Incredible uh, idea. Uh, I'm raging now, so... Why won't you just let me use you as a weapon? And uh, that'll be your turn. Sounds good. I'm here for it. A plus idea. <laughs> it was I, great. I, I loved the spine devil as a weapon. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's a fantastic <laughs> visual uh, that I really enjoy uh, imagining. Jarvis, I think you're muted, pal. You're muted. Keep doing that. No Amrick, problem. Uh, you said his shoulder was like broken in, but is he like beaten mm-hmm. and bloody, or is he he just he's the the fine. thug's shoulder was. Oh, got it. Okay. Um, all right. Then I cast. Is he still holding on to the spined devil? Is it? Did it get Jerry free? is. Okay. Then I'm just gonna throw another firebolt at Amrick. Okay. Uh, so that is not uh, 15. Nope. Okay. Streaking by, you singe some of the wood of the boat, but it's just charred a bit, so should be fine. Uh, anything else? That is all for now. Okay. Kairos. 
Um, I, I resist the urge to smash the guy's face in with my maul again. And um, I look over to Rolikos. Is he... He's next to me, right? Uncom- we're all yeah, in yep. a fighting group. Yeah, he's, um, yeah. So I, I hold them all in one hand, and my other arm, the entire thing, like, is a blaze of silver light as I just, like, shove down into his chest. Um, and it, like, is a defibrillator and gives you uh, 14 points of my lay in hands healing. Oh, when you, you, sir. When you, when you touch Rollercoast, you notice that his fur is much softer on his chest than... <laughs> on his back I take just a moment in the heat of battle just a moment you're like oh that's nice yeah, yeah you're, luck- you're lucky I'm asleep now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a triggering thing for for Rollercoast when he's awake but I mean yeah so um I picture him waking up and doing that like a, a weird cat jump from his back with like a twist yeah in oh the yeah air. it's like how is that physically possible? Yeah, but, one of those. Yeah, but you're a cat, so okay. <laughs> Everyone just gets confused and then realizes it's just a cat. Uh, um, so that is my action, and okay. then my bonus action, as I pull my arm back, um, my eyes flare up and my arms are wreathed in flame that then transfers to my maul, and I am now searing smited up for next turn. Okay. There's like a, a faint... Yeah. V- and then, uh, yeah, that's it. Now I'm done. Amrick's turn. Turn back to the big guy. He's looking at you. Just kidding. It's the thug's turn. The thug is going to come after you again. And again, is reasonable. going to uh, attack you twice with advantage. A 2 and an 18 for the first attack. Yep. A two and a seventeen for the second. The seventeen has not been these these are just the rolls, so uh Yep. Oh it still does. Still hits. Okay. And no shield right now. Oh crap. Seven bludgeoning damage as the same feeling hits you again. Um so that's two hits, two concentration rolls. Oh yeah. Which is a constitution. Save. Yes, con save, and it's 10. 14. 10. Whew. Nice. Cool. That is the thug's turn. Yeah. Amric's turn. Amric uh, is going to try and attack Jerry. Actually, no, not going to attack Jerry. It's going to go after uh, Kairos. With three dagger attacks. It's a 16 to hit on one. Yep, AC 16. Okay, the first one misses, second one hits, and the third one misses. It's a one damage plus four, so four piercing damage. And as Amaric says to you guys, pass fifteen. Cool. Says to you guys, you want to end up like your friend. It smiles like a like a just the cheesy, the most cheesy villain you can imagine. Spine Devil's turn, Jer. <laughs> it's just a angry cactus against an angry barbarian. Bite. Miss again. But again, you're a little distracted. Let's see if the fork forks you. Yeah, it's going to fork you. Oh, fork. Fork you very much. It's a 20 to hit. Uh, unnatural. That hits, I assume. And then the tail spine is another 20 unnatural. So work my life. <laughs> that's three piercing damage on the fork. It's really annoying because it's one of those forks. It's it's a three pronged fork, <laughs> so it's 
just like, feels is it for salads. Is it yeah, for... what what is this for? <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. Uh, five piercing damage. Uh, wait, 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 wait. So three and then five. Three piercing on the fork, and then the tail spine hits oh. you, and that's uh, another. So do I take my do I take my half? like better half on each individual strike or do I add up all of it and then yeah. take half of it? Each individual okay, so I take one from the three and I only take two from the five, right? Yes. Uh I haven't rolled the fire damage yet. That's gonna be oh. two fire damage, so one when you half oh. that. Okay, so it's a total of four, four damage to me. Okay. Yeah. Cause you're a fucking bear totem barbarian so i could drop a nuke on you and it's not gonna unless it's a psychic nuke and then you're probably dead i mean jerry's jerry's looking pretty beat up but he's he's uh he's going strong i it's just resistance to everything unless the the squid from watchmen drops on your head you're gonna be fine good show agreed yeah it's getting good you guys just want to talk about that for the next day? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rollercoast, it's your save. Hey, Hamrick. Or not save. You? <laughs> no, I am good. So I am going to get up, which is half my move speed. Yep. And then uh, Kairos is within touch range of me. Yeah. Determined. He's looking pretty bloody, I would assume, at this point. I am at this point, yeah. I've been yeah. hit a few times. Yeah, I'll give Why don't him, you cry about it? I'll give him I'm a not. good old cure wounds pat on the back. I do appreciate that. <laughs> that's, that's a good five health to you, sir. I'll take it. It's and just, then... You guys are healing each other. It's just all love. Right? It's all love, it's all love here. And then I'm going to... How does, does this give me... Uh, it's all about balance I hit something, I heal something I hit so something. for my feline agility it says when you move on your turn in combat you can double your speed is that my remaining speed or my total speed? total total, fantastic I'm going to take the attack of opportunity and get 45 feet away okay so that's going to be from Amrit I'm a, yes he misses fantastic T tiny little daggers not much reach and then as I'm running, switch to my bow. Cool. Then that'll be it for me. Jerry. Wow, it's my turn again? Um, shit. Yeah, Jerry's not really sure what to do. He's kind of in a, a pickle. But now that uh, Rolokos is kind of to safety, um, I mean, can I do anything to... Can I throw the the spine devil like in a direction away from Rollercoast? You can throw it. In, you can attempt to throw it anywhere you want. What's the what's this? Oh, I guess I'm that's meta gaming. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll just throw him in the opposite direction. So, so you want to throw him back to where he came towards the stern, probably because, um, yeah, that's where nobody like. There's you have Kairos and the thug to your left. And then the spine devil, obviously, in your hands. Yeah. Uh, Jarvis and Rollercoaster behind you. And Amrick is kind of next to Kairos as well. So you can throw it. Yes. I mean, can I, can I hold on to the spine devil and just make... Can I try to kick the... Uh, you can... Amrick? You can. Am I going to get any? Like, can I do any sort of normal attack while holding him? Not really, because uh, mm -hmm. it's unless you have. So I can't hold on to him. Hold on to him with one hand and then do a one-handed javelin. No, it's not. If it was a tiny creature, I would say sure. But this is a full live big dog. Yeah. It's it's yeah, and it's stronger than a dog and right, right, it's right. a cactus it's an evil cactus all right can i try to do i'll just try to do some damage to the spine devil i'm gonna try to just i'm just gonna try to smash it on the ground make an unarmed attack with your strength um 
So just roll like uh, one plus your strength uh, modifier. I'm gonna say you automatically hit because it's grappled uh, and you're smashing it on the ground and I don't want to uh, re-educate myself on the technical term it should be or the technical rule of it. So um, just give me one plus your strength modifier. Okay, it's four. Yeah, it's that, I mean, that's what my unarmed strike would be. So, yeah. Okay. Sweet. Jarvis. Are uh, they... Mary takes I... great pleasure in doing that. <laughs> Any... they, are they all... Oh, sorry, go ahead. And when you smash it into the ground, you feel some of the spines stick into the wood, and when you're pulling it, it kind of sticks. Uh, but if you want, you can pull it out and continue grappling. Uh, Jarvis. Are they all within 20 feet of each other? Are they still all pretty close to each other? Yeah, it's Jerry, Amrick, Kairos, Thug. Okay. Uh, and the devil. And the devil, right? And the devil. Not, right, the, so... not the devil, but Cactus I mean, Devil. Might as well be. So oh, I, identi you have I, no identify, idea. I identify the three enemies, and I'm identifying uh, the Thug, Amrick, and Spine Devil, and... I send a, to the middlest point between all of them, I cast sleep and attempt to put them in a magical slumber. Can you pick who is affected by that? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, it says, uh, starting with the creatures within 20 feet of point you choose within range. I thought, oh wait, I thought I did. Hold on, maybe I'm wrong. You so can pick which creatures, but from there... It's the lowest HP yeah. first. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's, that's what, what I, I wanted to know. Okay. Roll your. Roll yeah. your. Uh... Yeah. It is. Oh. Six, six, six. Exclamation roll. Sorry. I'm going to use this for D8. 26. Okay. So it starts with the lowest, lowest. HP. Lowest remaining HP. Yeah. So, Jerry, you're holding this flailing spine devil, and it kind of goes limp in your hands. And for a second, you just want to cradle it. <laughs> just for a split second. But it's, and it's sleeping. It's going, oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> and, as I, and as I see that my uh, I put him to a slumber, I say to uh, Jerry, don't wake it up. I'm interested to see if Jerry understands... <laughs> that uh, i'm sure he kind of will anything else jarvis so. that is all okay kairos i got a flaming maul and i'm gonna hit something with it um i'm gonna yeah i'm just gonna keep going at the thug um as a note compelled duel has dropped because i'm concentrating on searing smite now. okay cool uh but it didn't affect anything yep. i don't think 13. 13 on the thug hits. Oh, thank God. Okay, so it is... 10 points of bludgeoning damage, plus... 9 points of fire damage, and he's on fire. He's, he's, he's looking extremely damaged. Extremely... If I could make my voice go higher to make you think it has one hit point, I would. <laughs> That's pretty great. It's his turn, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> he takes five points of fire damage. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to allow it, but did you do that because I of my description? Or regardless, no, I'm going to allow it. He, he takes 1d6 fire damage at the start of his Turn. Oh, okay. Excellent. Unless he puts out the fire. <laughs> Excellent. I thought you were like re-rolling something. No, no, no. I thought like I didn't know if the searing smite oh. like you could you could trigger when it had its smiting oh, effect no. or something. No, nope, uh, it was just because it was his turn coming excellent. up and and he burns more. <laughs> excellent. He he starts to go back and then he just goes <gasps> and he falls to the ground. Oh, and my mill is not on fire anymore, which is a shame sad face but it did its job Amrick is going to 
attack Kairos again. Uh, that is a miss on the first one again. Cool. And a hit on the second. And a 20 unnatural on the third. That also hits. Uh, so eight piercing damage on the first one. And okay. then he comes back with the third one for another eight piercing damage. That's just enough to take me down. Kairos goes slack, hits the ground with a pretty audible thud. And Amric turns, gives this smirk, and just want to punch him. You just want to punch him. That'll be his turn, though. You got that going for you. Spine Devil is asleep. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. It's just <laughs> speaking. Yeah. Uh, Rolikos. All right, I am going to take my bow and do a little shooty shooty at Amric. That's a 19 on the die. Yes. So one of these better than these. Eight plus three, 11 damage. Okay. Then I'm not going to move so that my feline agility recharges. It recharges? Yeah, I get it. So it's uh, once you use this trait, you can't use it again until you move zero feet on one of your turns. Cool. Cool. <laughs> I don't... I'm trying to think of how that would... It's just he's... he's... Storing up my yeah. speed. Yeah. <laughs> um, Crouching and ready to pounce. Exactly, but... exactly. Jerry, we've got a sleepy, sleepy cactus, evil don't cactus. Wake him up. And you heard Jarvis say, don't wake it up. I think you're muted, Jer. I uh, got out my great axe uh, with both hands and I go after Amaric. So are you putting, so you're putting the, you're like laying the. Oh yeah, yeah. He's he's on the ground. Yeah, I'm up. Okay, I'm gonna say it's not gonna matter, but you used half your movement to lay it down, and then because okay. uh, you're within five feet of this, uh, pretty much five feet of Amric, attack at will. So I rolled a twenty-two for the actual attack roll. Nice. Just rolling the damage. I assume that hits. Yeah, yeah. And. So it's. Are you, this wasn't reckless, right? I don't. I don't think I have that yet. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, so it's plus three, plus two for rage, so nine, nine damage. Sweet. Who just rolled a bunch of dice? I did. I just put them back in the dice tower. Oh, okay. Uh <laughs> Get like... reckless attack at uh, second level, by the way. Oh, I mean, he can do it next turn if he wants. Um, Jarvis. Jarvis throws three rays of fire at Amric. Oh, sixteen. Nope. Eighteen. Yes. And seventeen. Yes. First one is 11. Second one is 4. 15. Ooh. Amric's looking very hurt all of a sudden. And then I say, um, I shout out to the group. Do we want him alive? God, I'm not the only one thinking it. <laughs> I didn't know if it was going to get back to my turn for me to say something. <laughs> I'm good either way. <laughs> Great. And that wakes up. No, it doesn't. Um, so Amric is going to all go from a shit-eating grin to injured and and looking like just stop. 
He's basically starting to say that um, Kairos. Probably the wrong person to. Nope, I fell off the table. To have going. <laughs> Kairos is going to go kill him. Success. <laughs> no, I'm down. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, yeah. Nope, I had uh, success, though. Okay. It's my turn. Back to the top, Amric. It's his turn since the thug is dead. And he's saying, okay, just stop. And then as he looks around, he's going to throw, pull, reach into his cloak and throw a softball-sized object uh, and smoke erupts in the room. Are we still in the initiative? Yes, I'm just. I was just checking. Oh, okay. I was just oh, reading. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it just went quiet. I was like, "You're back." One second. And you hear someone going, "Ugh," Ugh. and disengaging and moving out of range. At least that's what you think is happening. We can't hear what direction he went. Not really. I mean, you just, it was just like a loud poof and then smoke and you're kind of getting it. It's, it sounds like it's coming closer to you and Rollercoast, Jarvis. Okay. Um, and then as it's not a large area, so it's, you're probably just on the, the edge of the smoke you and Rolikos, uh, you see him trying to book it towards the stairs, uh, and he gets to the base of the stairs up that goes up to the tavern deck, uh, and that will be his turn. Spine Devil's asleep. Rolikos. All right, I am going to... How far away is he from me? About the same as he was. It's just in a different direction now. It's like 45 feet, roughly. Then I will use my feline agility to run up to him, drop my longbow, and try to, like, flat side of the sword, hit him on the back of the head. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, yeah, go ahead. It should hit 19. Yes, it does. It would do... 7 damage. So you're doing non-lethal damage, and yes. you hit, and he falls unconscious on the ground. Uh, not making death saves, but for all intents and purposes, is at close to death as you can be without making death saves. Fantastic. And, uh, yeah, you've got a bunch of smoke. Jerry and Kairos, who's unconscious but nevertheless I'm going to tell Brian this you guys are in a bunch of smoke and you have no idea where Amrick went it's heavily obscured the area you're in uh, and Jarvis and Rillicos you know you see what has just happened and we're out of initiative until such a point when the sleeping devil wakes up all right, guys, he's, uh, I knocked him out over here. He's unconscious. Got him. Um, and then I will ah. walk over really quickly and give my unconscious friend a cure wounds. Okay. For five health. I'll do it. That's my last spell. So. How long does your, your sleep spell last? Uh, that is a good question. Um... One second. Actually, I never looked this up. I just say we all surround and stab the shit out of it. Yeah, that's what I figured we'd do. Uh, it lasts a minute, so we need to do it now. Yep. Yep. I walk up with my sword poised above it, waiting for everybody else. I get ready to also cast a firebolt at it. You're what are gonna you doing, be... guys? I'm, I'm, I'm up. I'm up. Just I'm kill, here. kill this thing while it's asleep. Yeah, okay. Mm. All at the same time. It's heavily obscured, so... It's going to be disadvantage. 
but uh, advantage because oh it's prone. So Correct. It so an even flat roll. Unless you have some some poofy magic wind blowing stuff. Ooh, ooh. Hold oh. on. Hold on. Actually. <laughs> one of us might be able to do this. Can I do that with press digitation? No. I cannot do anything. <laughs> it requires a strong wind. Oh, uh, okay. And I'm not going to say Cantrip can do it. Yeah. Fair enough. What about a really big fart? <laughs> if if you had been role playing that you had just been pounding beans all day, if that was like I would 100% be okay with it and then I'd make everyone roll constitution saves. But yes, it would, it would be so everyone who wants to attack this thing, uh Jarvis if you're within it should be a normal roll, but if you're within melee range it's going to be at disadvantage. Regardless. No, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be. I just have to be like ten feet away from it, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll be about that distance. I think it'd still be. Well, it's fine. I don't wanna. Well, I missed. I got a nat one. Fuck. Four. <laughs> Mod so twenty. I do eight damage. That'll do. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, dang it. <laughs> don't want this thing back up again. It uh it uh squirmed when Rollercoaster hit it. That's why I missed. Yeah, it was having a a, a good dream, which is a like nightmare this. for a devil. So it was flinching. <laughs> uh, okay. So you got one dead spine devil, one dead thug, one unconscious child of a duke. Say we take this guy downstairs to the quarters and tie him up. Yeah, I've got 50 feet of rope. I'm going to start tying him up. Make a survival check. Natural 20. Yeah, that'll nice. do. While you're tying him up, I say, I mean, we could take him downstairs, but this is kind of enemy turf. And uh, I don't think the bartender's going to take kindly to us once she notices the, the mess we made. We should probably take him back to that safe house we were staying at. That's probably a better place to yeah, we do could, what we need to do. Yeah, as we could she's, drag him out of here. As she's talking, you see her crab kind of scuttle to the edge of the stairs, and she walks down. Maybe the crab was watching uh, all the commotion, and then once talk, the conversation happens, she walks down and take stock of the area. All the people who were in here took off, you noticed. Uh, they just left. And, uh, yeah, she looks around, sees the scorch marks. Uh, she We had one rule. One rule. She casts a spell um, that directs the smoke up the stairs and out of sight. Uh, continues to look around, looks at the couch. And I just say, uh, this is on Amrick. He's a regular. You can take it out of his, just add it to his tab. Oh, it looks like Amrick is tied up and <laughs> unconscious. Yeah, we did that uh, yeah. for you. He was making a mess of your place. Yeah, hold on. Okay, how well, you how guys can split it. How much does Amrick owe you? You guys can split it. So this is going to be... You guys are going to split a 50 gold repair bill. So I need 25 gold total from you four. Can I search Amrick's pockets while she's asking for the money? Sure. <laughs> good, good. Who would you like me would you like me to roll for that or? No, hold on. <laughs> so as she says that, she goes over to the thug and uh oh that was her thug oops yeah i mean you don't really know that um she goes over to the thug and kind of uh uncaringly nudges him with her foot and then picks up the sack that he was holding uh when he when, when you guys were talking to him and she takes uh 25 gold out of it and uh says to you all uh, don't worry about it. I got the rest from from Vaultus. And, yeah, that'll work. Uh, 
It's a pretty hefty pouch, but she walks away with it nevertheless. I walk over and I pick up that pouch. <laughs> no, she walked away with the whole pouch. Oh, with the whole pouch? Yeah. I thought she took 25 gold out. She she gotcha. takes 25 gold and then just says that to you, that uh, forget about it, and carries the pouch back upstairs. Gotcha. Um, yeah. Anything else? You want to search Amrick? Yeah, he's got his, his daggers, and they're very they're normal daggers but they're uh just very zhuzhed up rich Anyone kid want these daggers? i got one it's it's pretty serviceable um let me make sure that it's sharp enough still and i walk over to the spine devil and i just want to uh cut off its tail <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's fork tail does does the job gotta gotta show zaz something <laughs> Plus, I'm a, I, w I really want to wave it in this asshole's face when he wakes up. Yeah, and you get a little bit on your skin, some of the ichor, and uh, it starts to burn a little bit, not enough to cause any real damage, but um, it's not a pleasant feeling. Noted. And, yeah. So you've got Amric, unconscious, tied up. What? Now, hey Jerry, you mind carrying this guy to the uh, safe house so we can get out of here? Yeah, Jerry picks him up and throws him over his shoulder. Okay, are you guys doing anything to um, you just yeah, there was no like money on the table or anything, right? They weren't, no, like... uh, okay. are you guys disguising him in any way? Are you anything like that? I don't have the means to do so. So I think no. I can only I think I can only disguise myself with this guy's self, right? Yeah, uh, Jerry puts like he can put the sh he can put the I guess his t top of his torso like behind the shield that he carries on his back. Yeah, like bury his head behind the shield. Yeah. Okay. Um so you guys start climbing the stairs out of Low Lantern. Everybody make sure your flaming fist badge is visible, just in case. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, my watch badge is front and center. As you guys are coming down the stairs off the boat, a cloaked figure approaches, armor clanking with each step. One gloved hand rests on the hilt of a long sword. The other pulls back a cowl to, to, reve to reveal the face of a teenager with brown skin, red hair, and a haunting gaze she looks worried and she seems to be going between each of your your now prominent uh flaming fist symbols and she says uh i don't want no trouble just who is that who do you have a none of your business you won't that's, get any trouble it's a weird way to not get trouble i'm not gonna lie you're you're not gonna you don't you're not gonna you're not going to ar arrest me. Who who do I have to? <laughs> Should I? Where are you guys flaming fist? Uh, currently on the watch. Oh, you're on the watch. Yes. It's weird. Are you guys like? No, it's cool. Do Do you want us to take you in? No, 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 no. no this is like. And she starts looking around, and uh, especially at the body you're carrying, and uh, she says, no, 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 I just got into a fight with some Flaming Fist people, and I just don't want any uh, any trouble. Um, is that... Well, we're going to need an account of that, and I take out my pad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who did you get in this couple with? <laughs> Do we have to do this? And yep. <laughs> I'm need your full name and address as well. For, Kairos, for uh, you have the. Remind me, you have the Elturel background, right? Or kind of. Correct. Yes. Uh, make a. I'm also a bloody mess right now. So... <laughs> <laughs> Just throw that out. Can I have your name? <laughs> and. Uh your height i mean your address 
Um, go ahead and make an intelligence roll. Oh, great. My favorite. That's a seven for a six. Six. Okay. Wait, is that a... So you don't really see... Something in your head is like what she's wearing underneath this cloak is kind of weird. Uh, nothing negative, really. Uh, but it's something from your past that just is... Woo, woo, woo! Going off in your gotcha. head. And... So in my, in my questioning, I add... Um... I ask him, are, are you from here? You're not from here. No. You don't look from, like, you're from here. No, I came here. I came here after... After... El Terrell. After El Terrell. You're not going to believe me. It disappeared. It, it sunk into the ground and disappeared. There's only a crater there now. Well, I mean, the first half of that was was not new information. Like everybody knows, El Trail disappeared at this point. It's old news. Sunk into the ground, though. You're on the side. Did you see that happen? I was training. I was training outside the city, and I was heading back in after training for the day. And the companion. Do you know what the companion is? The companion that I shine. You do. Um, of course. It's it's the companion which protects us from undead menaces went out, just blinked out. And then the city just, just, just sunk like it was a ghost through the ground. And, and then there was just a crater. It was just, and we came here, we, we got in here just in the nick of time before they closed off the, the gates. And uh, we, we, uh, well, your companion, you're, you're not alone. Who are your companions' names? I didn't get your name. What's your address? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have an address. My name is Rhea. My name is Rhea Mantlemorn. Uh, do I know that name at all? The Mantlemorn? Uh, name? no, but, um, okay. her telling you she's from El Terrell and a name like Mantlemorn probably has some like you would have a name like that uh type of connotation that's what made me ask do i know that name <laughs> right yeah yeah <laughs> um so i'm i'm here i mean i'm trying to find thavius krieg he's he's there's a rumor that he came here and he was the high overseer seer of el Terrell, in case you didn't know uh I'm I'm just trying to. We found out that we think he's he's with the Van Thampers, either a prisoner, and she's looking, kind of at the body. And oh, this isn't him. That's the who Va Krieg. I know Krieg. Yeah, yeah, no. Is that a Van? That's a that's a Van Thamper. That's either Amrick. Or that no, that's not the older one. The one that's sickly and looks like a scarecrow. How can you tell that just by looking at his legs? I'm not looking at his legs. I'm looking at his clothes. You, you're only hiding like his head. Um, and she says, "No, they came to El a few times. I would know. I was coming here to talk to Amrick, or at least interrogate him. The Van Thampers are terrible." Is that Amrick? Uh, I insight could at least check. agree. With make an insight check. On, on anyone who makes wants to make an insight check. Specifically on, on the Van Thamp her saying the Van Thampers are terrible. Okay. And I got a twenty one. Nice. I got a fourteen. Inside of the shit. Anyone else? Where's was there some real anger behind that? Oh yeah, there was. Sweet. Well, I mean, we we kind of he's he's not dead yet. Um, we just this isn't exactly the place. It's a little public. Uh, if you noticed, you're in a bar. 
I don't know. I suppose you can come back with us just for a little bit and uh, <clears throat> ask him a question or two. We might learn something ourselves. So you took care of you knocked him out and <coughs> the people who were guarding him? It looks oh, like he's on, he was on fire. The guard, oh, not the, him. Then there's the devil. Um, it's his you... tail. And I flop it around. Is that a spine devil? It was. Oh, that's super cool. They're like teenager enthusiasm shows through a bit. Uh, she was trying to have kind of a what she's been trained to to uh, exude a confidence and like a yeah, just a confidence uh, falls away for a second and her uh, exuberance for Well, if justice. you notice, Rhea, um yeah, it was really cool. Uh, it also hurt many of us a lot. Yeah, and, of, I re- at least and I really want to just like sit down and take a break. Why don't you walk with us so we can at least continue the moving forward uh, to where we need to go. So are you guys, I just want to make sure because I had, the flaming fist can be real assholes. One of them just punched me in the head as I was walking in. Oh, it was totally Zaj. <laughs> I wasn't even doing anything. And so I That's punched Zaj. him back. Oh, no. And, <laughs> Probably a bad idea. Yeah, it was, because pe- they started looking for me, and I'm just here, I'm trying to find Krieg to get some answers as to what happened to our city, and and he's here, and the Van well, Dampers, I've always had a... She's just, like, going on... Fair warning, Rhea, fair warning. Yeah, we can be full assholes. Honestly, I'm too tired to be an asshole right now. Um, so we're going to start walking. You're welcome to follow us and, and even walk with us and we can continue talking. But you're a lot right now. <laughs> so I'm going to start walking. Okay. Hey, uh, Rhea, <laughs> if you want to, um, Rhea, do you want to weekend with Bernie's, um, my friend here? Sure, I can help you with, with uh, Amrick. Yeah. So, oh, it is. I knew it. I totally oh, knew it. it. I, it I've Jared. seen that. I've seen that armor. <laughs> I've seen it. I totally knew it. That's so cool. So cool you knocked him out. He's such a shithead. Shit. So is there any reason you think Thievius Creve is here? Yeah, that's where he... We were f- trying to find out where he went and the last place he was he was heading here. Should we look... Before we leave, should we maybe look around for him? No. No, he's with the Van Thampers and... Yeah, he's not here here. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, we searched this whole place. Never mind. And I was trying to question Amrick to to find out where, like, what his, he's that. doing, and and I'm I'm almost sure now that he is in the villa, their Van Thamper villa. So, uh, so yeah, yeah, let's go. I'll go with you. Yeah, for sure. You guys think we should uh, should make this guy invisible so we don't cast any more attention? Uh, you, uh, you can do that. Yeah, it's gonna That's... look real weird. Them mm. attempting to carry, they're gonna be like miming out carrying somebody <laughs> across town. That's true. I'm just throwing it out there. There you go, Ross. But, they, but no one's gonna know who. It's true. Yeah, but it's gonna be like, yep. <laughs> I mean, unless Jerry goes back to carrying him by himself, or then we it, can just then it'll be like this. Like we can... Two people can hold him like this, and it just looks like we have our hands in the air. Because that's normal. <laughs> I appreciate I could... you thinking like a DM, Roz. I'll just, I'll just drag him. And I, can just, I can just drag him behind him. You could. Then him. it'll just be like... That's less <gasps> loud. <laughs> yeah, and it'll give him some really nice dirt burn on his face. It might even so, make him make death saves. We're not going to do Weekend with Bernie's? Oh, you can do it, everyone. I don't want to carry him. <laughs> How far are we from said safe house? Rhea said she would help me. So, 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 like, I have an idea. If I put this cloak on that I was using to hide me on oh. Amrick, well, he could, he'll, he'll just look drunk. And, and if I'm with you, if any other flaming fist people, like, who are assholes, you guys can just be like, yeah, we, we, uh, we got her. And so they won't bother me. Yeah, that's that's fine. 
if that if you got a cool big old cloak to cover him up yeah, with. Yeah, she's wearing one. It's like a Jedi style. That is a helicopter and a half. Uh it's like a Jedi style Obi-Wan Kenobi episode 4 type cloak. So, yeah, she takes it off if you guys are asking to. Do you yeah. have is this you're not you're te- are you deceiving her in terms of vouching for her if another flaming fist? No, I, okay. I think she has some information we need. Okay. Yeah. I think just to make it look more realistic, I think I'm going to use some of that rope to kind of handcuff her. Uh, she Loosely. she says, "Are you going to say anything before you try to do it or are you just going to Oh, no, no, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to say, "Hey, I think we should." I'm sorry. My bad. Uh if we're going to play the part, I think we should actually play the part and make it look like you're one of our prisoners. Okay. Well, yeah, that kind of makes sense. But, like, if we get into a scrap, just put it kind of loose so I can, you know, slip out of it. Okay. That's reasonable. Yeah. And she lets you uh, tie her, bind her hands. Wait, 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 wait. We're doing the weekend with Bernie's thing. How's she going to do that with her hands? That's true. I'll, I'll help you carry it. Yes. And Jerry's just like, yes, we can with Bernie's. <laughs> you, what's someone please ask what's weekend at Bernie's in this <laughs> for the love of God? No, we just, oh God, we're just God, letting Jerry be this, Jerry. You would have loved this play that uh, what was that traveling theater group <laughs> from the other? Oh, the other uh, holy shit, Dave! Oh, uh, the beholders. Um, the acting company of Beholders, uh, Strani, Strani, act, Strani, Strani, Strani yeah, Acting. Strani, yeah. Strani Acting Company. Oh, man, they put on this show. It's about this these two great friends, and they, their boss dies, and they get to use his house. It's totally... It's, it's such a great play, guys. It's totally two Beholders who are, like, the friends, and then they, <laughs> they force one of the audience members who didn't agree to this to, to be to play the dead body and if they don't play it convincingly enough they actually kill them <laughs> oh <laughs> and then they use the body to do this weekend at bernie's play except they're using their their telekinesis ray to pretend like they're carrying the dead body oh my god <laughs> it was so good the body looked so dead it was so funny <laughs> it's so that was a good pull there, Dave. Thank you for that. Um, where are you guys heading? To the safe house? We're heading to the safe house. With the uh, one with all the uh, peanut? The one we had slept in. Yeah, but what's it has a stock full of something. I forget. Was it peanut butter? Remember you said... It was canned goods. Can But it was one thing. It was, yeah. I forget. Beans? Beans. Oh, so you could have <laughs> done the... I'm not sure it was beans, but you, if it I'm was not beans, sure if it was beans. I can't remember. I don't it think is I now. It, it is now. It is now. It was restocked to a different. <laughs> now we're on the beans. <laughs> it's the beans week. It's on a weekly rotation. Uh, <laughs> it's lima beans. I'm making a note this time. Thank you. So you guys head back to the safe house. You make it. Um, um, on the way, there's a couple questions I just want to run by her. Yeah. Um, I want to comment, first of all, you know, we heard a rumor that the Grand Duke Raven Guard was in El Terrell, and you're saying the High Overseer of El Terrell was in Baldur's Gate? It's weird that the leaders seem to have swapped places. I agree. Right That's why I want to ask Thavius these questions. And... Do you know anything about the Grand Duke being in El Terrell? No. You said you were training outside the city. Uh, what... Training. What organization do you belong to? The Hell Riders. And she says, oh, you're when she says it, she goes, riders. her eyes kind of squint and she goes, the Hell Riders. Ugh, yeah, yeah, we know who you are. Oh, no wonder why you're all weird about the fist. We're just the better version. Um, all and right, it just all comes make... comes back to you with her shining, polished armor and just the, she's she's the least bad by far of, any like because she's a teenager and she's still there's there's a uh authenticity there's no there's no airs being put on here it's just uh she's a teenager so um 
Yeah, so we're looking for Thavius, and he better have some answers. I'm starting to get worried. Like, why wouldn't he be there to fix the companion? It's There's a lot of weird things happening. It's just, we got to find him. And I think the Van Thampers are involved. What do you know about they the Van Thampers? They seem to be real shitheads. What do we know about them? Um, Should we discuss this in a more private setting? I, yeah, yeah, let's just get to the safe house. So I, you guys I, are in the safe house. Oh, beans. Thank God. They restocked. Who wants beans? I'm the person before you guys were in there left about 50 cans open, some half-eaten, but didn't clean up at all. Ugh, rude. What a savage. Right. <laughs> Terrible. Jerry's, Jerry's like, kind of forgotten that they're doing Weekend with Bernie's with Omerick. He kind of thinks he's awake now. Even though he's got, he's got, like, one one arm over his shoulder and he's kind of like holding him like this and he's just like, <laughs> he's like yeah man Emmerich wants some beans yeah <laughs> and it's it's at this time that Emmerich is like st he's still beat up but he's still starting to come to you just hear moaning so he's not aware of what's you just hear like oh, is there a chair we can tie him no to? you hear you hear Amrick moaning for those beans. <laughs> oh, you're right. And I take one of the half half full cans that's open and I just dump it on Amrick's head. Just like sure. Right He's got bean ha hair now. <laughs> yep. Perfect. There Perfect. you go, Jerry. He got his beans. Uh, you guys messed up, messed up Amrick's uh, hair. It's Man. just a little bit more greasy now. <laughs> <laughs> and full of beans. And full like, of beans. <laughs> He's kind of scooping it off his head and like putting it... <laughs> his mouth <laughs> like, I imagine you're doing this as Rolikos is trying to tie him to the yeah, I'm just like guys just sit him down just for the love of all take that a load falling. off take a load off Emmerich you earned it and the beans yeah. are like the that he's not scooping up they're just falling off onto your paws as you're trying to like just restrain this this Amrick. Oh my god, what a sight. Yeah. As soon as I do get him restrained, I just start like incessantly like licking and like <laughs> getting the bean juice out of your fur. I can never take Tabaxi seriously. I just have it's it's gotta be like I understand it doesn't have to be a lot of cat stuff and but it's just so hard for me to not just jam in the and stuff like that but um so yeah you've got Amrick. he's somewhere between one hit point and death saves so um Rhea's just like talking everyone's ear off trying to get information about Van Thampers what did you tell her about the Van Thampers oh I was supposed to be pulling up my notes on the Van Thampers well, we we you guys want to tell her everything we know? Um, yeah. why not? <clears throat> yeah, I guess they were like trying to undermine the the uh, flaming fist. Uh, the the TLDR yeah. is they run the occultists out here, and uh, they are so trying Lambra. to That's yeah. The that's the problem one and they're trying to undermine the flaming fists to drive them out of the city so that she can become the, the grand duke the new grand duke yeah that's their plan yeah but they're they're kidnapping people they're interrogating various citizens about other powerful families presumably to gain leverage over them so that she can continue her rise in power Sounds like they're uh, probably making a gambit for El Terrell's power as well. El Terrell is not there. Well, the High Overseer's power at the very least. If you say that they're uh, in cahoots. I'm not sure. It's, it's, or a prisoner. And, and now you, you said there was a spine devil with Amric. Was it fighting Amric or was it working with Amric? Oh, they were definitely Amric. pals. Oh, yeah. 
figured it was his pet or something is what I was guessing. You don't, that doesn't, that doesn't happen. That's not a, that's not a normal pet. Have yeah, you, most people have you don't seen, keep Have you seen out. my horns? I, I don't question many things in you're, this world. You're not a pet either. No, I just, I'm just, just a, I don't know. <laughs> and I just look like very self-consciously at myself, like... <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully nobody assumes I'm a pet here. <laughs> you're, you're you're realizing for the first time, like, oh shit, am I weird? Yeah, <laughs> getting very self conscious. <laughs> Just like back away from the whole conversation. Nobody start, noticed start me. I mean, I don't know. Spooning that... in beans into your mouth. Oh. Yeah. The the day before we fought something in a sewer that had a skull instead of a head. I mean, just a skull, no hair, skin. It was a Shit's skull weird in this city. Yeah, it had no like, face. Human body. It did no have face. a face. It was oh, just it the, I thought it was a skull. The top uh, okay. had a face. Just, just nothing, nothing back here. That's like balls. Dead three is ball bane and. Merkel. Yeah, right. So, so the Van Thampers run the occultist, the Dead Three. That's who we were dealing with originally, and um, so yeah, Spine Devil. I don't know. Seemed par for the course. Well, Helm demands that we remove this evil from. Hey, Hor's on board with that too. Oh, you're so with kinda... Hor? Yeah, the Doombringer's the Woo! best. Oh, yeah, Spine Devil was taken care of thoroughly. It is it is dead. We don't have to worry about that anymore. But the implications of that if if the Van Thampers are in cahoots with some devils that's an a... L12 sank and they have the high overseer prisoner. I see where you're getting that now. Or where I'm not even sure Th Thavius is 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 prisoner. Or you planned it, and they're in cahoots. I don't know. Like you said, something shady here. Let's wake Amorak up, and I kick him in the shin. Any health points put into him? Nope. Not even a little. <laughs> not even a little boop. <laughs> don't do it. I only have one of the smallest boops. Fine, I'll wake him up with my with my one point of boop left. As I kick him in the shin. Okay. He goes, <laughs> ow! Oh, oh. You see another one of those pathetic, like, like a little spark of silver light instead of the, like, <laughs> defibrillator that I hit Rollercoast with earlier. It's a, it's a reluctant uh, spark of light. It kind of like, just, like, holds there in between your, your foot and uh, his shin and then finally goes into him. Mm -hmm. uh, so it heals him, but it also like hurts because I kicked him in the shin. Exactly. <laughs> and he wakes up and goes, "Where am I?" I, I think we'll be asking the questions here. <laughs> you Why don't you... seem to be in a position to do so, sir? Well, I'm. I feel terrible, and I'm not sure I'll be alive much longer. I fear I have internal bleeding. You look terrible, if I might say so myself. You have beans in your what? hair. Yeah, what is that? And I beans. just take a handful of beans and I just chuck it right in his face. <laughs> Stop asking questions. This is the weirdest interrogation techniques <laughs> I've great. ever seen. It's so great. Are those baked beans? I like baked beans. They're lima beans. <laughs> They're baked lima beans? They're my favorite. <laughs> Don't give him any more. <laughs> You're giving him power. <laughs> you see his muscles just expand. No. Uh, power. Beans. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he's basically just sneering at you guys. What do you want to say? Gentlemen, who wants to start? I've done all the talking. You guys can interrogate him. Mm, all right. Go have a cat nap. I I will. Thank you very much. <laughs> you, you see him kind of get disappointed that his what he thought was a clever 
a clever uh, remark just f- f- get reversed. <laughs> you basically handed him a reversal Uno card. Yeah, and I'm going to go find the closest couch and just curl up into a ball. I'm, like, listening, but, like... Does Rollercoast purr when he curls up? Uh, yeah, once he falls asleep. It's probably pretty loud, too, because big yeah, cats, when large. they purr, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like you Jerry's guys just like having a hard time like switching between like <laughs> kind of being buddy buddy with Amrick. <laughs> so he's just like he's like confused look and he's just like yeah like uh like yeah tell us and he stands up and like he like gr- he like groups with the goes go back with the group and like stands up and puts his hands on his hips and he's like yeah like tell us Tell us where you, we can find your mom. My, my, my mom, the Duke. Oh, she's not the Duke yet. She's she's a Duke. She's not the Grand Duke. You got me there. The where Lamra. Yeah, the Lamra. Your mom. She's gonna kick your guys' asses. Oh yeah, I'd like to see her try. She's got bigger forearms than you'll ever have. Or she has forearms if we're being literal about it. <clears throat> she doesn't have forearms, I mean. stupid. Uh, I wouldn't put it past her. <clears throat> she seems like a real freak. Anyway, <sighs> what's she up to anyway? I mean, we know that... <clears throat> Excuse me. Huh. The beans. The beans. <clears throat> They're sick in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we know that you were running your mon- money laundering business, but we also know that you were running the cultists out of, you know, cultists of the dead three. They're all dead. I hope you know that. And if you don't, well, now you do. They're, they're all of them. I don't they're believe it. Dead. I don't believe it. Did we take, ah, oh, Jerry, you got the shield and turn around. Um, I believe that was one of their shields. I don't know. There were like a bunch of them. There's a key ring from sewers, a dude with a bucket on his head. Any of this ringing a bell? It doesn't really matter. They're all dead. Your statues are destroyed. The sewers cleared out. We also exploded a bunch of it. It was a blast. Anyway, why are you running the... Uh... Is that a joke? No, it was, it was legitimately fun. We, like, trashed the place. It was awesome. No, but you said it was a blast, and you said it exploded. So it's oh, <laughs> I did. No, uh, no pun intended. Uh, literally. Good, because that'd be stupid. It was a blast, though. I just want you to know that. <laughs> Jerry just slaps him. <laughs> Back in. Him. Roll. We're gonna we're gonna say it's gonna be a coin flip whether you do damage. Are you are you actually doing like? Do you if you? No, it's just like a correction. Like I'm hitting him, like with a limp back end. Okay, okay, that's fine. Because if it was like a reaction, like quiet down, like full on, then I would have you do that. But um, yeah, you slap him and he goes. Oh, I thought no, we were Jerry, friends. Like that, and I just full arm slap him. Uh, I'm fully intending to do damage. <laughs> okay, so uh, roll your unarmed attack. Sixteen with advantage, of course. Oh yeah, that's good. Sixteen. Yeah. Uh, four points of damage. <laughs> and then I just I palm his face. Blood and starts trickling of, out of his ear. And a surge of light goes into his face, and I cure wounds him. For how much? For, what is that again? I hope it's like full health, full healing on that cure wounds. Ha! Minimum healing! <laughs> <laughs> Four healing. Four. He, he goes... <sighs> What's happening? Now, see, you see, Jerry, it's from, from the shoulder. You got to really... <laughs> anyway. I know how to slap someone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this asshole, you. We're talking to you. Wake up. So I don't have an asshole face. You you have an extremely assholish face. No, you. Everything about your face is extremely assholish. 
You should really know that about yourself. <laughs> right about... <laughs> right about now, Rollercoast is falling asleep and you start getting... <laughs> like, real loud. So you guys have to, like, increase your volume a little bit. <laughs> you guys go from... He's in the middle of saying, you have an asshole... You have an asshole face. Just... <laughs> Everyone, has, and you guys are all like, even Amrick is looking over at the couch and just being like, "That's real loud." All you guys are sharing the same thought. It's real loud. All right, so I continue on. So we know the cultists. We know your cultists were abducting members of the Jasso family, workers of the Othun Patriarch family. What were you trying to learn from those families? Why would I? Tell what did you, you want over them? But face, why would I tell you that? Oh fuck! I have to do this again, and I just wind up <laughs> as my eyes turn black as I invoke the Doombringer's name and say, "Do you, do you really want another one? <laughs> want some more beans?" I'm trying to intimidate him, <laughs> intimidate him into telling me something. Roll your intimidation. Eight. Did you say the poo bringer? <laughs> mm, somebody else talk to this guy. <laughs> yes, I just clench my fist and turn around for a minute. Jerry, Jerry asks if he can, if, um, from uh, Kairos. He asks Kairos if he can take the the spline of the uh, the uh, the fork or whatever he took off the tail of the. Yeah, and I it's been tucked into my belt, so I take it out and I hand it to you. <laughs> Jerry's just like, you tell us right now or I'm going to jam this down your throat. Make an intimidation check. Intimidation. <laughs> Ooh, 17. He goes, that was my friend you, you're shoving in my face. You're sick. Is that a, is that a half-orc thing you do? Is that like normal? It's sick. This is... I legitimately forgot what you asked. Oh, what he was trying to learn from the uh, the families that he was spying on. Well, we're trying, we're trying to take control of this shit city. We're trying to make it better by by just becoming the Grand Duke. Our family on top. That's the way it should be. We're gonna get as much help. From wherever we can, we're gonna, yeah, we're just gonna take over the city. What else do you want to know? I don't know. Like now that, uh, I don't know. Now that we've kind of foiled your plot, like what's what's your next move? You haven't foiled anything. I My mean, frankly, frankly. We didn't really want to know all that much. Um, really, our main focus was probably just to kill you. We just saw. If you kill me, my my. Me. If you kill me, my mother, Duke the Lammer of Van Thamper, is, right. is gonna is gonna rip your face in two. The plan is to kill her too, and and the great part about it is killing you is gonna really piss her off because for some reason everybody says you're her favorite. You're a total shitbag, so I don't get it. At least I don't have an but... ass face, ass face. Good luck getting into the estate without without anyone. Oh my god, Rhea, do you want to ask him anything? Because this dude has like two more minutes to live. You 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 have two more. <laughs> 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 Shut up, asshole! So I'm just gonna Nasty. cast. So I'm just gonna cast my mage hand and just start and just shove my fist through his mouth. I don't. It's it gonna can't do damage. Yeah, it's just gonna like. You're gonna oh. see his face just kind of like. <laughs> do that. And he's going to. Can what is mage happening? hand as a gag? <laughs> Not really, so that's why it's going like. Oh, okay. Uh, I what tried. is happening? What is on my screen? <laughs> I tried. Uh, and Rhea is just like, she's super into everything that's happening. Like she's, uh, you, she's very amused, but she's also like, 
this is how we should interrogate just like just, just beating them and um covering them in beans covering them in beans beans that he likes <laughs> so it's a mixed message um it's degrading while refreshing for him um Rhea says what do you what's how did you have a spine devil with you and Amrick goes wouldn't you like to know? You wish you could have a spine devil work for you too, huh? You, 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 like we have a deal with all the devils. Like we got like Asmodeus on our side, and like we're fucking sick. Like we, we're, we've got just, just evil on, just has our backs. And you guys, there's no way you're getting into our estate if you want to take out my mom. My mom's gonna take you guys out. But if you want to try to get in there for whatever reason. You, I don't know how you're going to do it because there's just like there's 20 guards outside that just rotate in a counterclockwise motion every so often from the couch and we'll just be like how big are their forearms just curious not as big as my mom's kitty okay fantastic and, and when, yeah and, and what about like the other way to get in like when you're sneaking in why would I tell you that I didn't, I'm not going to tell you anything about anything about the estate <sighs> And I just take a lima bean and I walk up and I just put it in his ear and I just start shoving it really deep into his ear. You only need one ear to hear. And I just keep shoving it in. I'm, like, I'm just going to let that sit for a while. And it's you're pretty really shocked. Really uncomfortable. You're pretty shocked at how easily it slips in because of how greasy his skin is. Gross. Yeah. Uh, Ugh, and he goes, he said I don't have an ass face. And <laughs> he's enjoying pissing you off. Even though he feels like shit and he looks like shit. And yeah, he's probably going to die. He is such a scumbag and not really. He's At just... least he's true to himself. That is accurate. He's, he's, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's unabashedly himself right now. He's not faking anything uh Rhea continues like so are you are you sure you're telling me that you have some deal with devils and Amrick goes yeah I'm telling you that what do you think happened to and then he stops finish that sentence no god damn it somebody hit him and the mage hand just slaps him. <laughs> and the mage hand goes... And you see his face just kind of... <laughs> My arm what was cocked happening? and you see that I'm like annoyed that I wasn't fast enough and the mage hand got in there first. But it's like the mage hand was just like close to... <laughs> hanging close to his face after it was like just mushing his face and then it just kind of smears his facial expression. And he goes, what is... This is stupid magic. Who's doing this? Can I use prestidigitation? Because it creates a harmless sensory effect. Can I use it to make him feel pain? No. Damn. Even without well, hurting Harmless. Him. Like. Yeah, but without losing HP, but it still hurts. No. Fine. You can make the mage hand smell really bad. Yeah, you could do that. <laughs> That's kind of painful in a way. <laughs> but then we have to smell it. True. It'll smell worse around. I can make hand. it smell like beans. He already smells. Oh, like he beans. likes beans. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and that aroma is thoroughly saturated around him already. This whole place is saturated with baked lima beans. <laughs> There's sure, 50 cans open. It was like <laughs> <laughs> There's beans everywhere. Somebody anyway. didn't invite us to the bean party. And Rolikos, he, when you lay down on the couch, you realize that some of the beans have been, like, mushed into the fabric of the couch, and it just smells. And it's, that's why, it's just gross. Yeah, that's why I couldn't sleep. And I get up, and I once again start cleaning myself. <laughs> it's just like, God, I hate this place. There's <laughs> beans everywhere. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having such a, a good time just making this this safe house 
Like, it's very safe. At least there's that. It is safe, but just not. <laughs> you're also safe from being comfortable. Completely comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. In, in one last gambit, um, to get something out of him, I, I grab his his shirt, um, and I just like pick him up, chair and all, because that he's tied to. Mm-hmm. And I just just start shaking him, and again, my eyes like go super black with the thaumaturgy, um, and I just be like, and I just start saying like, "What's the deal you have with Asmodeus? What's the deal you had with the de- devils?" Okay. Um, intimidate again. A little better. 13. Okay. Um, he goes, I don't have a deal. To, it's my mom. She's... <clears throat> no shit. You're nothing. What's the deal your mom has with the devil? I'm not nothing. You're nothing. I, I don't like know what walk. the deal is. I want to walk over and just take like one claw and just start dragging it down his arm. Oh. <laughs> just one How big, deep are you? cat claw. Just enough to like uh, barely draw blood. You know, like when a cat scratches you and like only the top layer of skin comes yeah, off, yeah, but yeah. it still really hurts. And then when the when blood comes out, it's just, it looks like a dotted line. Yeah. Kinda. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> You can get real sick uh, from the bacteria really on cat claws, apparently. Like, real sick. Like, death sick. Um, yeah. Uh, I look at my cat warily over here. <laughs> if it's an outdoor cat, especially. Um, Aw. Meow. Uh, he, he goes, ah, what, do, what do you want me to... I don't know what the, I don't know what the deal is. Like it's, what do you? Just you probably won't die as painful a death if you let me go and live. I just, it just doesn't sound like a good threat. It's really it not. Does anyone anyone have any more questions? Anyone? How yeah. are you going to get into the state? Hold into on, the... real quick. Do you know a Thavius Krieg? Is he present? Nobody's asked about Thavius yet. Hmm. I thought she was going to ask him some questions, too. Yeah, uh, I would have gotten to that if I would have remembered. Uh, but So thank you, Rollercoast. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> uh, he goes, what do, you, what, do you, what do you know about Thavius Krieg? Listen, we're the ones asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about Thavius Creek? <laughs> You're the worst prisoner I've ever met. <laughs> Such a shitbag. <laughs> and I feel like I'm doing a great job of representing yeah. that. Um, so, uh, Rhea goes, Thavius Creek, the, the overseer of El Terrell, the savior of El Terrell. And he goes, I guess you do know who Thavius Krieg is. And it's kind of like semi-common knowledge that... <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a big public figure. Yeah, it's, it's like... Um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty obvious. And he goes, He's staying in our basement, working with my mother. That's some good knowledge right there. Yeah. Why? How- I don't know what their specific plans are, but they've got to deal with devils, and I'm going to take over the 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 town after my mom passes, because I'm her favorite, and I'm the best looking out of all my brothers, and... Dude, you're going to be dead. You're going to kill me? Oh my god, I've said it like 17 times. I think you were just like doing that to like make me scared. I'm not talking if you're going to kill me. I'm done. Well, I haven't killed you yet. Maybe you'll make it out alive. <laughs> make a deception check. <laughs> What's fun is I also am really good at deception. Oh, my God. But I rolled a net one, so it doesn't matter. He rolled a net one, too. So what's the so, actual uh, number? So it's a, a six. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have oh. a phenomenal. 
<laughs> so I'm not believable at all to the rest of my group. <laughs> Maybe you'll get out alive. The total is a six. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I've His insight plus... is plus six. So that's a seven. Oh, my deception uh... is plus five. That sucks. <laughs> oh, so close. He goes. And the rest of you are just like, that was such a shitty lot. Like, it wasn't even. It's the most blatant lie I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, it's not even. You didn't put any effort into that. And you've heard him lie before and do better than that. <laughs> but this was like. And then th and then uh, Amrick is just like taking so long to he's like eyeing side eyeing him trying to like get a read on him and finally goes no you're gonna kill me I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you you you're just lying I'm gonna need some beans <clears throat> can I get I mean, some if of those beans please you tell us how to please? get into your complex maybe we'll let you leave but there's no reason to let you leave live right now you can't and get I'm, in there I'm, without I'm... me. They're, they'll they'll kill you on sight. I mean, they'll why can't I you. become? Why can't I become you? You can't. You can't be me. You're not good enough. You're not pretty enough. And then I cast <laughs> disguise self to look exactly like him. Look at how ugly you look. You're all bleeding and and <laughs> bruised. I don't look like that. Literally, Fuck what it. you look like right he now. Even has face. On his face. Fuck it. Is there a mirror in this place anywhere? There is no mirror in the safe house. Is there a bucket of water? Like I can't get a reflection. <laughs> my, shine, my shield's not shiny enough. Uh, <laughs> Just Kairos immediately I was trying starts to tell him, but shining his shield. <laughs> look like a shitty person. You, you should really, again, self awareness. You should really know this about yourself. I am so thoroughly enjoying this. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm good. Cast. Um... Actually, never mind. I'm not going to do it. I changed my mind. Okay. And he goes, you're going to need me to get in there. And, like, how are you going to get into the upper city even? You guys don't look like you belong there. We just point at Jerry. Like... <laughs> oh. Well, Jerry? Who, who, Jerry? Jerry, what do you... Jerry just points to his badge. You're a flaming fist person and a, a watch guard? No, just the watch, dummy. That hurt. I thought we were friends, man. I'm friends with you when you're unconscious. I don't like. I don't really like you, man. <laughs> that sounds weird. He's just all super dejected. That, of all the things said in this interrogation, that <laughs> cut to the bone. He's just like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really like you, man. <laughs> He's just going in that kid state between like trying to fight off crying and he's got just kind of going like <laughs> all right is there like another room to this safe house yes there's one other room can i call a a group meeting over here i want to double check his binds and make sure maybe Rhea, can you stay here and watch him for a second I, we just don't want him to hear what we're saying. You want me to kill him? N no, he's mine. Not yet. I'll fight you for it. <laughs> Been calling me an ass face for like <laughs> ten minutes. Now. And he go and he pipes up and goes. <laughs> he goes. He goes. It's because you are an ass face. And he's like starting to. <laughs> Look, he's done a lot of shitty things in his life. Whore demands balance. I get him. At least I don't have an ass we'll face right and back. shit coming out of it. You're gonna! <laughs> <laughs> and before we walk away, say, if you don't tell us how to get in, I'm gonna make myself look like you, like this, and your mother, and I'm gonna kill your mother as you, and she's gonna think you killed her as she died. And Jerry's just like, I and I'm saying Whoa, this, I'm, and I'm trying to be intimidating right now. Okay, intimidate, make it a check. Jerry's intimidated. No one's ever scared of a wizard. <laughs> right? 14. He goes... He did better than me. <laughs> he goes... 
I don't. Nobody would believe you're me. You don't. Like you maybe can kind of look like me, but you can't act like me. I look exactly like you. I will walk right past everyone. And, and he doesn't say as you leave and you're going to the back room? Yeah. What do you guys talk about? Are we really okay. going to no. kill him unmuted? Uh, so, yeah, real quick. Uh, I'm pretty sure he needs to die. I'm <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> I'm not debating. What gave you that idea? I'm not debating this at all. It's going to happen. I'm just imagining that Kairos is just... Fume. He's so injured. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just waiting. But he's just I'm running on adrenaline. <laughs> adrenaline. He's just like beaten up and just bruised, but just running on adrenaline. All right. So we know now that Mr. Krieg is in cahoots. And Jerry he's just goes. Deal with demons. What if? What if we like brought? What if he? What if we knocked him out again and we brought him to his mom? It's like a hostage. I feel like that'll be another like kill on sight situation from them. I almost feel like it'd be better if we approached with nothing in our hands because they don't know who we are necessarily. Uh, unless that shitty brother's imp saw that's, us. That's her favorite son, right? Yeah. I mean, I see what you're saying, but dude's got to die. I, just, <laughs> I mean, we got a copy of him right here. I, it works for me. And I, I could I, also I, do I that I want to punch tomorrow. Jarvis right now. Like, mm. no, Jarvis, your your face. I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could also do that if necessary, just not right now. So and and if you did notice when I asked him about the, you know, how do you get in when you're sneaking in? Uh, like when he's drunk after a party or something, he he didn't say there is none. He just said, "Why would I tell you that?" So clearly, there's another way in. We just gotta find it. So so do we? Do we let him rest up for a night and then resume? Because we could actually beat him if he rests up a little bit. Right now, I'm scared if we do any advanced interrogation methods, he'll just not yeah. last very long. Which is part of the, the the wonderful part about it right now, though. That's like my favorite part about it is that he won't last very long. That's just, yeah. That's that's I mean, <laughs> we could literally oh, you may, do yeah. that at any time. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> so well, we got him. the place for at least a day or two, and we have beans to spare. And yeah, maybe if we he have to talk about anything rest. else. Well, maybe if he gets some rest, he'll cool down a little bit, and we'll be able to get some actual information out of him. Can we starve him? Yeah, just don't give him any more beans. He likes those. Yep, that's fine by me. Well, I can't be in the same room as him. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill him. So I'm gonna <laughs> sit down right in here. You take, yeah. I'm gonna take a breather. The other three of us can like take turns as a watch and watch him to make sure he doesn't try to get away. That's a good idea. I'm gonna. I got a few bandages somewhere. I, I'm still bleeding. He stuck me like six times. <laughs> oh yeah, I am definitely still <laughs> bleeding. Like I don't look pleasant. So you guys are hearing like Rhea still trying to interrogate him, and then those of you who don't stay in the room come back out to the main room, and as you're doing that, uh, the door opens and this kid, like college age high school age kid comes in the flaming fist draw my swords. Oh, okay, never mind. a flaming <laughs> fist a badge and he's like turning out not he's not looking in as he comes in he's got no i got plenty of beans in here i i left a, i left a few cans open i'm just gonna grab them real quick and grab a bite i'll be right back out and, and we'll go hit the bars and then I he just walks in and he goes sees amrick sees the kitty rollercoaster and sees the wizard. Just like I, I, actually, he sees Amrick twice. <laughs> sees two Amricks. <laughs> <laughs> and, he's, and he sees Jerry, and he goes, <laughs> starts looking at your badges, and he goes, "Is this some sort of weird 
starts looking between the two Amrex. Is this some sort of weird role play thing? I don't have a problem with it. I'm not judging. I'm just going to grab some beans. I left a few here. And yeah, then that's take where all we're going to leave oh, it. Real quick, take the open ones with you. <laughs> Excellent. And we're going to leave it there for next time. Cool. Thanks, guys. All right. That was fun. Good times. You know what's nice about this? Let me tell you. Let me tell you what's nice. Don't don't let this don't metagame this into your decisions. But I'm gonna tell you something. When you kill him, where do you think he's going after he dies? Oh, totally across my mind. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. He's, yeah we'll, <laughs> we'll see him again. And and I'm sure. No need to do an insight check on how much fun Jake's having playing Amric. So there's a pretty darn good <laughs> chance you're gonna run into this asshole again. <laughs> You mean we get Can't to wait to punch him, twice? Us, punch him in the, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is great news. Super into it. <laughs> it's just gonna be. It's just gonna be descent into Avernus, playing with Amric, just over <laughs> and over again. I'm uh, assuming you guys saw Critical Role. Yeah. And the the group of bandits they rack they ran into a couple times. Like, oh yeah, yeah. The Back. second time around, <laughs> the bandits were just like, "Oh shit, it's you guys." <laughs> <laughs> so good uh they did they haven't ran into them in like 50 episodes anyways uh thank you for listening or watching uh if does anyone have anything they'd like to plug social media anything like that Dave? no i'm good yeah i'm drod3 on instagram and twitter brian of course not not i wanted the a written it's fine Oh, I didn't. I, I wasn't last, so. I would share, but they would just hit a wall of private. <laughs> Not if they're good share, enough but they hackers. Won't. But they won't I mean, find me. I can challenge them, Gary J. Robert on Instagram. To a hacker off? To a hack, hack off? Away. Hack away. <laughs> I hope it's like hack, a. Hack uh, the gram. Yeah. I hope it's like a uh, Jets and Sharks things where you guys snap before you hack each other. Um. But I'll see you, everyone who's listening or watching, and on Twitch Monday, not Wednesday next week. I believe we're still playing Monday at seven, and we'll pick up with Amrick, hopefully dying, and this college kid grabbing some beans before oh, heading no, he's out. He's not leaving. He has to fucking clean this place. He left and maybe mess. eventually, <laughs> eventually making our way to hell. Eventually. Eventually, yeah. Someday. That's the plan. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. He's got to leave, a, learn a lesson about how you treat safe houses. Especially with Kairos, it. it's so <laughs> amped up and angry. It's like yep. full, full dad mode. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you can follow me on Twitter at Jake Friday on Instagram at Jake of the Friday. Follow Venture Ventures at Venture Ventures on both platforms for updates on scheduling and when I post podcast episodes and YouTube episodes. Uh, this should be up this weekend, but we'll see. So without further ado, be excellent to each other and be excellent to yourself. See you next week.